Well, I am a puppet. <laughs> well, you, it's very important to know that puppetry is a lot more intricate than a lot of people think because being a puppet is really hard, especially in the modern economy, because work is very scarce. I mean, very, very scarce. You've got the big agents like uh, Jim Henson and all that, but they're all over in the US. It's very hard to get good puppetry work here in Ireland. Most of it is in, you know, RTE, but it's very, very hard to get in there, you know? So I'm kind of going freelance, trying to get a bit of work, really. Uh, but as I said, it's, it's, it's hard, you know? So sometimes I have to turn my talents to, to other things, you know? Well, you know, um, I've always loved construction. Uh, I tried construction before, but uh, I had a bit of trouble because, you see, my hands are very, you know, fiddly, and uh, it's very hard to operate big, heavy machinery with these things, you know? <laughs> so uh, a few workplace accidents may have ensued. Um, I was fine. I mean, I just got a few stitches, and I was fine. But, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I I'll leave it there. You could say that it was created in my genes, you know. Uh, I always felt like I was destined to be a puppet. Well, I suppose, I, in a way, I already am a puppet, but that's, that's only half the story, you know. Because I, my father was a puppet, and, and my father's father was a puppet, and, and, and we, we come from a big, long line of master puppets. And uh, I suppose that just sort of gave me the little flame I wanted to just, you know starting this business and I love it I really do love it it would just be a little bit nicer if some nicer jobs came my way you know hmm well I suppose I don't like to be typecast but very often it ends up being children based I think it's because I'm kind of blue you know uh, that's that's sort of nothing I can really change you know I went down the dying route a few years ago and this pinky purpley thing happened now it didn't work it didn't work so I'm gonna try and stick with this blue you know but um, I suppose it, it's hard to break out of, uh, out of children's puppetry when, when you look the way I do, you know? I mean, I tried Shakespeare, you know? And uh, I thought the language would, uh, would be a problem. But um, as a matter of fact, it was, in fact, the eyes, believe it or not. My eyes were too distracting. And uh, apparently it just didn't work, you know? But uh, other than that, though, I mean, um, I'm kind of stuck in a, bit of a, in a bit of a hole where I can't really do much outside of the children's genre. And, uh, you know, if, the, if there's anyone out there, anyone, anyone at all, I mean, anyone, anyone, please, please get in contact with me because I really would love to do something that would really challenge my abilities, you know? I'm, I'm not really sure, you know? Uh, wh whatever, I mean, um, just something that that really pushes me to my emotional and physical limits, you know? I mean, look, I can do this. Ooh, ooh, ah, see that? I mean, not very many people can do that. I mean, that's, 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 you know, that's just physical dexterity at its finest, you know? I can also, uh, I can, ah, no, no, I can't do that, no. Uh, but, but, but I am really, really, really durable in, in the whole physical sense of things, you know? And I'm also, really, really talented at acting, you know, I can do emotions, I can do angry, I can do sad, I can do happy, see, I mean, it's, it's all there, it's all there, um, I have worked with people in the past, I, I was with a fantastic project there a number of weeks ago called the Creature Works Project, it was fantastic, it was, it was great publicity for me because I was their front guy, you know, um, but uh, in terms of uh, actually working with someone for definite, I am pretty freelance. I like to work. I like to work, uh, you know, for me, for myself. Uh, that's not necessarily to say that that's the way I want it. I mean, it would be fantastic to have an agent that will get me some decent gigs, you know. I mean, I always go to the cinema and see, you know, Muppet movie after Muppet movie. And I think to myself, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I suppose... The long, the, the long hours of, uh, of, of rest we get, you know, I mean, I, I, I literally, I, I'm only needed on set for a little while and then I can just sleep in a, in a dark corner somewhere. And it's fantastic, you know, uh, it's great. Um, also, not having to do the work is another big thing. I mean, the fact that I'm not actually doing the movement, it's someone else. I'm just being here, just being the puppet. And uh, that, that certainly helps things. It makes it a lot easier, a lot easier. Um, but uh, 
I suppose other than that, I mean, uh, it's 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 nice to also look very different to the other the other people usually that you're working with. It's a uh, it's a very different look. I mean, I'm not just talking about the whole blue thing as well. I, I you know there's there's the fact that I um you know I uh, my skin color is a little bit less Pantone than your average human being, you know. And uh, also my teeth. I mean, I only have to I only have as you can see I, I actually lost a tooth recently, which is a pity. But uh, you know um I yeah uh, I do try and look after my appearance and uh, all that, you know. But uh, I suppose to answer your question, nah, I'm not really sure. Ah, now, now there's a good question. There's a good question. The audience, I suppose, are like uh, the customer, I suppose, is how you describe them, the customer. And it's very important that the customer always leaves happy. Because if the customer isn't happy, well, then you've got a problem on your hands. So I always, always milk it to the audience. You know, I'll always, I start, you know, panto, sing songs in the middle of shows. Not always to the director's liking, but, you know, whatever. That's part of the job, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, very often uh, the audience are very receptive to everything I do as well, you know. And, and I, in turn, am very receptive to them. I mean, they feed me the energy, and I feel that that really gives me the opportunity to feed the energy back. There's nothing worse than a really quiet, dead audience because it, it really does make your performance itself go very, you know, quiet or dead. So um, it's, uh, I think a relationship, with the, uh, a relationship with the audience is very, very important. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I do, I do, I do really enjoy um, making the audience happy, I suppose, is, is, is the big thing for me. I mean, it's it's uh, it's that little smile on the on the young child's face or the or the laughing grandfather at the back uh, you know that's 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 really why I do the job you know I'm not really sure um you see I'd like to think that uh, the the highlight of my career hasn't actually happened yet you know um other than that though I mean I'm not too sure if I've one particular time where uh, where you know I, I've thought yeah this is as good as it's gonna get you know um, I have enjoyed every single job I've done so far, you know, I've enjoyed them all. I, um, I've, I've, I, I suppose at the same time, uh, there's, there's no, no jobs or no points in my career where I thought to myself, God, this is, this is, this is just awful. You know, I, I, ha I can't do this anymore. So, um, with that in mind, I suppose, um, I'm not really sure. Uh, I suppose the highlight of my, my career, I suppose, was, um, Believing I suppose so far that uh, I, I can actually get somewhere as a puppet as a working puppet in this in this economy and um, I suppose so far the journey itself is the highlight of the of the career, you know um, I actually I, I think I got that moment even before I decided to actually go into go into puppetry as a as a you know as a, as a proper career because um, I suppose I, I was born a puppet, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a born puppet. Uh, what can I say? Um, I, uh, it was in, it was in my blood, uh, it was in my, in my stitching and my fluff and my fur since I was, uh, since I was, well, very small, basically, uh, very young. And, uh, I suppose even before I, I started working as a puppet, you know, I, uh, I really do feel like, um, it was my path, you know, that, uh, I, I was destined to do this. So, um, but I suppose, uh, the more I got involved in the actual puppetry, industry, you know, I, I suppose that only just strengthened, you know, it just got, got stronger and stronger and I realized, yep, yep, this is absolutely, definitely what I want to do. Um, I, I don't think so, no, I mean, uh, you, you've asked me pretty much everything, you know, um, I don't really, I don't really think I have anything else, um, no, no, I suppose not, um, but uh, w what I will say is, you know, that uh, people do need to have respect for puppets, I mean, puppets are, uh, puppets are, are, are creatures too, you know, and uh, and we need just as much respect as as any other human or or any any other living thing really you know and uh, and it's important to please consider puppets for uh, for acting and puppetry roles in uh, in productions and uh, not and don't discriminate against them just because of their you know their size or their or their their color you know in my case or even their texture you know <laughs>